Welcome to this feature overview of Asset Sketcher version 0.2. My name is Andy and I will present you the new features of Asset Sketcher. So first of all you can install it as usual under the uh, user preferences and the add-on tab. Uh, go to game engine if it's installed and just toggle the um, checkbox here. Um, this is version 0.2 and um, author is my brother and me. My brother helped me with some math here, which I'm very grateful for. Okay, so um, you have here the um, tab for Asset Sketcher, which has all its own options. Um, you have on the one hand you have the Enable Sketching button, which starts the Asset Sketcher. Um, you have this Brush and Operators box, uh, which has the brush settings and the some operators, which I will uh, go into if, a little bit later. You have the asset library box where the assets are put in and all asset settings are displayed. And you have the canvas uh, box. Only objects that are added to this library here um, can be painted on, so that's what it's for. Okay, now let's add a few objects to the asset library. And go to the second layer, or in this case the third layer. Here we have the um, fence object added here. Now let's add the um, canvas objects to the canvas list and let's start the asset sketcher so you immediate, immediately see that we have a brush preview um, you can set the size here or just press F and then drag to the left or to the right to increase or decrease the size with shift F you can uh, increase the brush density and this means how many objects will be placed within that brush circle area um, also, you can set the value here. Um, and now let's start painting. So we need to adjust the fence uh, settings here. Let's enable the stroke into uh, sketch into stroke direction option. So objects will be always directing into my stroke direction. And um, with control and paint, I can delete objects. Now let's decrease the size. So at the moment the um, asset distance is um, constrained to my brush size. This is this option here for. Um, if the brush is bigger, the asset distance is bigger, otherwise it will be smaller. So we untoggle it and set the size to 0 or to 0 0.1. Um, the asset is placed properly. So, okay. That's this um, feature. Um, at the second layer we will now add um, the grass object and maybe a group which contains a few different stones and um, from that group um, the assets will be picked randomly. Okay, enable the sketching so we can increase the density for this brush now. Um, add some random rotation here and we can also toggle this pressure, uh, pen pressure option here. So if we press very light, the objects will be much smaller. And uh, then uh, if we press very hard, they will, will, will be bigger. Okay. We can also set this pressure sensitivity for the brush size and the brush density. So the brush is this way much smaller, or um, the brush density also fewer objects will be placed uh, or more objects. Um, yeah. So if we paint this here at the moment the grass also will, will be placed on the slope here. Uh, we can delete it which works fine or we just can set the slope threshold here to 0 0.7 and then only the objects will be placed or increase it a little bit. The objects will be only placed on uh, flat surfaces or surfaces that are directing upwards. Okay, the same is goes for the stones here. Um, add some random rotation, scale. Okay, so now we can place um, very quickly a few objects here into our scene. Um, some grass, maybe a fence. So. Okay, 
we can um, pick the objects directly from the scene. On the one hand we can select them here or just alt click on an um, object here and it will be selected here too. Okay. Um, that's it. We have a few more options here. Um, we have this Z offset. If we increase this, um, let's say, to 5, the objects will be placed with the offset here, as it says already. Um, yep. So, let's set it to 0 again. So if we have um, a few objects, and let's say we want to delete them, um, we can press Ctrl and Paint and delete these objects. But um, let's say we want just to delete the um, grass objects. So how do we do that? That's where a new feature comes in handy. We can select objects from that list here directly. So let's say we want to select these stones. And now only delete the stones here. We can um, set this delete only selected assets option and just delete this object objects that are selected. So this way we can delete all the stones without even touching other assets. Um, let's add some stones again and let's delete only grass objects. So works pretty nice. Um, we can also select objects and merge them with this merge select objects um, operator. This uh, can increase the performance and puts all the objects into one final object. Um, another setting is the surface orientation. This will place um, objects uh, and lets them uh, or lets them orientate to the ground normal or the surface normal. So we will add the trees here as a new object. And if we set this to zero, you see that um, the trees are always directing upwards, uh, even if the normal is directing to into another direction. So, but if we um, set the zero to one, they will also be directing into the ground normal direction. Yeah, that's it. So I've also implemented a um, some undo settings for um, Asset Sketcher. So if we sketch something here, and we can undo each brush stroke. Brush stroke. So um, Asset Sketcher adds here a undo history for each brush brush stroke, and that works very nice. Okay, that's it for this um, feature overview for the version 0.2 and I hope you like it. Um, I have some ideas for up for the next versions and um, but this will take some time I think. Um, one idea was to add some um, brush or, or assets preview to the brush so you see it directly here. But that's for the next versions and I hope you like this and um, yeah, have fun with that add-on and um, I hope it helps you to build up your scenes. Okay, that's it and see you in the next video.